Hello, hello, hello. It is the Drum Machine Addicts. We are here today to talk about the MPC 1.9 software. This is a beginner's tutorial, so if you haven't seen the software before, or you've recently purchased an MPC Renaissance, Studio, or Touch, this is indeed the tutorial you should see. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. Just some general things. You want to set your inputs and outputs by going to Preferences. You do that just in case it's not already set up. So, in our case, I'm using a mobile preamp to record the audio, so my input is the preamp and my output is the preamp. Alright? Now, I could change this if I wanted to, blah, 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 to built-in, and that would be my laptop speakers. I'll leave it there for now. Alright, just to show you some of the different screens and stuff, you can go down to Program Edit right here. So, once you have a sample loaded up, it'll appear in this section right here. We can pick this one actually we have a preloaded sample and you can do different things to it you can adjust the semi or the fine which are pitch things or you can address the uh, adjust the velocity you can have it moving forward or reversed so forward or backwards this will let you do just one pad or you can select for all pads and moving on we have the program mix screen so when we add more sounds this is how the mix screen looks you have your channel strip, your channel fader, you have the uh, different inserts that you can add. And a new feature is, say if I add this insert and I add just another insert right here, right? Uh, a new feature in uh, the software 1.9 version is I can just disable this. So I can disable one insert without disabling another insert. Moving forward, when you have different tracks set up, this is the track mixer basically the same principles as the other one this is all also the track view so you can see what's going on at the bottom we'll move past that so this is the uh, sample recording uh, section so if you have something like Soundflower on your computer that allows you to record audio from YouTube or where have you this is the section that should do that and you can add inserts for that to give it that kind of special feel of like an MPC 3000 or MPC 60, SP 1200, so on and so forth. Then, once you have your sample added, you can go to the edit menu. So you can play it, play it continuously, different kind of loop functions for that. And of course you have your cue links. So if you wanna edit this, you can move it forward, backwards. You can't necessarily see it because I'm using my, my MPC as we speak, but you can also use the mouse to do so as well. Um, and you have the different things that you can do as far as, excuse me, as far as processing uh, your audio. So you can discard, delete, extract, normalize, reverse, and so on and so forth. After you make whatever you want to make as far as your sample, then you can go back to the sequencing screen and you can begin to tap your pads and make your masterpiece. All right. So after you have all the sequences you wanted, which would be displayed here, then you can go over to song mode and you can format your song depending on the sequences that you have. These are all blank so they look the same and the master BPM is 120 for all of them. But that's pretty much how you work the software. Um, if you need to reach your drum libraries, uh, there are these tabs up here. We'll just go to tab five and it'll reset. And then you can just click right here and after installing everything, your drum content and your loop library that came with the software will be available. And then you can just go to the different folders that you like and choose what you want. So we'll go to the MPC 60 folder. And you have all these different drums here. You can just drag them over to a pad. And notice that if you see to the side, oh, I actually loaded a program. So we'll, um, we'll go over that difference later. But if you look at the uh, icons to the left of each of these, it's either going to be this, which is a program, or this at the top, which you'll see is like the WAV file. And notice to the side right here, uh, next to the channel strip, you have a program section and you have the sample section. And then you have something for your sequences. And you can change your programs by going here. Or you can add a program as well. Or if you want to switch from a drum program to a plugin, like you want to add contact or massive or anything like that, you would do it here. And then you would click here. And you can add your different audio units. 
and that'll let you add, you know, any type of plugin that you have installed. So for the most part, that's pretty much an introduction to the software. Um, we'll get deeper into it as the tutorials move forward. Again, if you have any questions, please feel free to hit us at drum machine addicts at gmail.com. Leave comments, hit that subscribe button, tell a friend to tell a friend, and we'll be back with more incredible content. Thank you all for listening today. Have a nice day. It's Drum Machine Addicts. Peace.